Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to do something different. Remember once upon a time when Skyla was here, I made some little uh, fleece undies for one of her stuffed animals and I called it Scrappy Transformations or Scrap Buster. I'm going to make some more clothes for her stuffed animals that she keeps here so when she visits she'll have clothing to put them in. She has quite a bit but not really stuff that I made. But the whole purpose is I can show you guys like how to measure a teddy bear or whatever stuffed animal you have and you could make clothes for your kids stuffed toys or you could even just measure your child in the same way to make them clothing. So today I'm going to use the denim that I have left over from my most recent upcycled fashion. You know, the one that I made a skirt. I took two skirts and made one skirt. This is the denim that I have left. And I thought we'd make a denim vest for this guy. So let me get a piece of paper to show you how to draw out a very simple pattern. And let's get busy. This is going to be a very simple pattern. I just want to give you guys a visual, an idea of how simple this can be. Now I do think that this will have to be pieced together because, hmm, I don't know, I think that'll be long enough and I'll even have the hem that I can use. This is so fun. I am not exactly sure where I left off because I did a few steps and I didn't like the way I was doing it. So I am starting over. You're going to take your stuffed animal or whatever you're measuring and you're going to lay it down. We're going to start with the back. We're going to only draw half of the pattern because the pattern will be put on the fold of the fabric. So we don't need to cut out the whole pattern, just half. The first thing I'm going to do is go to the neck of the teddy and down to where I want the vest to stop. I'm going to say five inches. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to put a line right here. That's the bottom of the pattern. I'll show you as I go. Then from here to the side of the teddy is about six inches. So I'm going to just measure six inches. I'm gonna draw a line connecting those two dots. So this is what we have. Now we want to go like from here to the armpit. We're looking at like two and a half inches. Measure two and a half, and make a dot there. And we can connect those two dots. I'm actually going to go two. I don't want that like right up under the arm. So let's just go two inches. We want it to be roomy so Teddy can do some fantastic dance moves. Now we're going to be doing the arm and that's just a basic curve. I don't have to really measure anything for that. The only thing I want to measure is like about how big the neck is. So from the center of the back to like the top of the shoulder, four inches. So that's going to go here. And then we're going to need about an inch for the shoulder seam. So this is going to be the neck. This is going to be on the fold. This is the, sle uh, the shoulder. And then I'm just going to curve this dot to this dot. And that's going to be the armhole. So there's our pattern. I could curve this a little bit more. I just like the looks of that better. I'm going to cut this out. And yes, I'm using my fabric scissors. I'm going to cut with a little bit of a seam allowance. I'm not going to hem. Okay, you know at the top of the shoulder here, I am gonna just curve this a little tiny bit. Just to give you know, a little bit of a nicer fit around the back of the neck. Now for the front, I only need one piece and we're going to make it twice. I want the front to be able to like overlap so it has to be like at least a half an inch wider than this piece so that it will overlap a little in the front. So let's just, uh, I'm gonna match up these edges and I'm gonna pull it away. Let's say, yeah, a good half inch. And then I'm just going to draw around the rest of the pattern. Let's see, like this. I'm going to curve it more in the front. And we should be good. So let's start with the back. I'm going to fold my fabric. 
smaller one is the back because we're going to cut on the fold. I just need to make sure. Do I have room for two here? I do not think I do. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough. So let's put one of these seams in the back. All right, so I just folded that at that seam. Now I'm going to take this pattern and I'm just laying it down at the bottom. I'm going to be able to have that hemmed. And I will put a pin in there. And I am going to cut a little bit generously. Oops, I want to make sure that the uh, fabric is straight. We have the back. Hmm, it's a little wider than I want. So I'm folding it and I'm making an adjustment. I like the width here. But we need a little bit more of an armhole here. Am I going to have enough fabric at all? Okay, this is sad. I won't be able to have this finished hem on the bottom because I just don't have enough fabric. So that's okay. I'm just going to fold this and I will go ahead and just leave the front raw. Just our style. Now let's take Teddy and see. Okay, we have the same thing happening here with the armholes not being quite deep enough. Boy, that overlaps by a lot, but I'm going to leave it like that for now. I had to change my card and then I forgot to turn the camera back on. What I'm doing now is I'm just putting right sides together and I'm going to go to the machine and sew these two side seams and the two shoulder seams. Now I'm just going to turn this and let's see what we have. I think it's going to be a little big in the front especially, but that's easy to fix. All we have to do is cut it. Oh, the back is like so perfect. Look at that. And the front, like we said, it's a little long. I could actually like fold that over and put some buttons if I wanted to, but I'm not really in the mood to do buttons and buttonholes. I wish it had that hem like in the back. That is awesome, but we just didn't have enough fabric. Ooh. Uh, geez, I just don't have enough. That would have been cool that I could have just added some. I think I can do it. It'll make the vest a little bit open, but that's okay. All right, I'm going to put this piece here. I'm just going to trim the front of the vest. I'm going to stitch this down, and I'll be right back. Okay, here's what I did on this side. It's a little scrappy looking, but it's cute. I just sewed that right on to the front, and then I trimmed the fabric off. A little bit of a raw edge there, but we're going with it. Now for the other side. I'm going to put the part here that is the seam right there in the front and sew that way. Before I sewed that to the other side, I did remember to go ahead and cut the front of the vest to match the other side. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to come out. Why is it so blue? I have so many different shades of daylight that happen in this room. All right, we're putting this baby on. I have no clue. I hope you understand that this is in no way a tutorial. I don't expect you to learn a thing. <laughs> it's cute. I wonder if I could like make it a little bit more vest shape right there. Let's do that. Trying to just round that out a little bit. You know, I could go ahead and hem the armholes if I wanted to, but I'm just stopping at this. Look at how adorable that is. And I ended up getting the hem in the front also, and it's nice and scrappy looking. He needs a fine shirt under there. But I do like very much. I guess if you learned anything from this is start with a basic pattern and then completely change it after you cut things out. <laughs> I could readjust to this now. Just make the arms a little bit deeper, make the front a little bit smaller, and I would just do that by taking the front and, you know, cutting like to here. 
and the armholes to make them deeper. That'll work. And I'm good to go for next time. Thank you so much for watching and we'll be back with more soon. Bye! Don't go yet. I could not stand the threads that were hanging out so I went ahead and hemmed the armholes and the front of the little vest. And now it's perfect. I just love it so much better. Still scrappy looking because we still have threads going on here. Just so cute. Okay, for real now. Bye!